This video will go over the new Area Loads feature. Area Loads provide a way to enter uniformly distributed loading that is independent of slab geometry. This is different to a pressure load, which can only be assigned to an existing slab zone. By allowing the user to enter loading completely independent from the geometry, Area Loads feature enables the user to create simpler, cleaner models. Less geometry lines are needed, and as a result there are fewer meshing errors. Area loads are assigned in the same manner in RCB, SLB or PTD. In this video we will create area loads using a realistic job in RCB. To create an area load, press the area load button which is located in the modeling toolbox under the home tab. At this stage you can enter the magnitude for the area load. I will enter an area load over the entire slab, so I will be snapping each point to corner. You can now begin defining the area load geometry by left clicking on points within the model. To finish, right click and close. Similarly, we can specify a different load for the balconies. Note that for overlapping area loads, RCB will apply the highest pressure over the intersecting area rather than adding the two values together. To calculate floor centroids accurately, you will need to draw a zero magnitude area load over the void. This can be drawn in the same manner as other area loads. But another way to specify an area load is to select an existing geometry line, then press area load button and enter the magnitude. In addition to these two methods, area loads can also be imported from a CAD drawing. Revit import will be available soon. Now we can check the load distribution by coloring area loads by pressure magnitude. We can see that area loads with higher magnitude are drawn on top and the software will consider this value when applying pressure to the slab. We can copy the area loads to another load case through the edit tab in the main ribbon. Now that we are in live load, we can enter a separate area load for the lobby. This will not affect the mesh. Another important thing to note is that the accuracy of area loads depends on the area load refinement factor and the size of the mesh. This is described in detail in the software manual. The user can toggle between different area load refinement factors in the model and solver settings. Pressure loads are still available in the software. You can switch between area load and pressure load input for uniformly distributed loads in the system settings. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching.